course, I am here with a man with infinite endurance. My boy, hey. TSM Korean. How did you come back? I don't know, but you know what? <laughs> Whenever a caster's in need, a Korean's there indeed. So I'm not saying that. Bars, dude. <laughs> Definitely bars. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Yo, but we got Locus going up for King Chris, dude. The infamous King Chris. Wow, yeah. he just jabbed. <laughs> he just yeah, jabbed about uh... the best. This tournament is called Crisis Core, and I believe King Chris has been the core of many crises recently. Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, how perfect for online world, dude. <laughs> yeah. Ex-Soldier first class, dude. Definitely King Chris. Dude. Yeah, he's, he's on the cloud. I, uh, to my knowledge, he plays Zero Suit, so... Mm -hmm. Maybe they yeah. allowed him to enter this tournament if he went all cloud. <laughs> hey. And I was actually super, super clean right there. Getting some good solid damage. Oh, yeah, oh. you're done. Wow. <laughs> he said, put that away. <laughs> My secondaries are better than yours. Yeah. I mean, Locus, his main was uh, Ridley before Terry mm -hmm. came out. So, yeah. Maybe we'll see the Terry come out. Oh, for sure. Step back. Good bear. Good chase. Good tech chase. Ooh, where are we wow, going? Wow. What a wait. To the depths of the sea, dude. That cross slash, like, wasn't even on the screen, bro. Yeah, that was grown man moves right there. <laughs> we're we're doing big boy edge guards. Absolutely. See, yep, just gonna let it release. I like that slight delay on it though. That definitely uh, tricked the locus up a little bit. Yeah, especially uh, after the buffs. Mm -hmm. I would I would definitely say that cloud. Is a better character overall, and I mean, even just for this matchup too, Ridley's so big, so it's hard to not get hit by some of these uh, aerials. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yo, yeah, yo, and it's yeah, having that cool. extra kill power, especially on like a thing like dash attack and up smashes, a lot of like key options that cover a lot of like standard uh, normals that you're really gonna see from uh, Ridley, and like you can get key punishes as well in tandem with Clem Hazard. It's just so freaking good. Oh yeah, beautiful stuff. Oh yeah, he's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> if, if if Danny wants to get on, I'm, I'm done to get off. If, if he wants like, to get on, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right, so King Chris with a, you know, very convincing game number one. I I don't know if uh, I mean Locus could stay with the Ridley, and I he could probably do it with the Ridley, but like I said, it, it's it's gonna be tough. And I, I feel like some of Ridley's buttons too, like King Chris doesn't even have to deal with that without. He's just like I'm gonna drift away back here. Like I don't have to deal yeah. with this narrow up tilt. Back air is just a really good option just to do it with anything like a preemptive option. And it's going to be really hard for Ridley to kind of counteract that. And at the same token, if he ever chooses just not to do that and he just go, he just goes for like a general like approach, like Cloud is one of the few characters in the game that's going to, that has it like a true shield, right? So he's going to be able to punish those things with whether it be um, doing Clem Hazard out of shield or if he actually hit lands like, like kill percent, then it's like easy up smash and that thing actually kills now. So it, it's very hard for uh, Ridley really, to really circumvent a lot of those like, tools that he has. Oh yeah, for sure. And yeah. like, so, yeah, here's a switch to Terry. Yep. Now this is going to be interesting because I think this matchup is pretty hard for Terry if the uh, if the Cloud in question is very good at uh, dealing with a uh, jab jab power dunk. If they know how to di it correctly, that thing's just whiffing, and so that's like. They're gonna have a real hard issue with that. He's gonna have to do a lot of preemptive power dunks or try to get it with down tilt and stuff. Uh, right. And then, of course, a lot of good coverage from Cloud as well as far as the uh, once Terry's off stage with an air and up air to catch up, like upper power dunks. So we'll see. Oh, the jab lock into the down tilt as well, getting that big damage and trying to set up for this juggle situation. Yeah. Oh, good jab. I love the fall down. Wow. He's like, yep, you're not going anywhere. I don't care if you wait. Really, really beautiful call there. Yeah, yeah, and there's there's not a lot of mix-ups for uh, Terry in that situation. Obviously, you could have double jumped earlier, but yep. uh, it's just scary to do that in those situations. Mm -hmm. And you have not a lot of air drift with Terry, so it's it's, it's rough. Yeah. 
Oh, the jab didn't wow. not catch the spot dodge. I'm so surprised. Yeah, that was crazy. The train. Ooh. Wow, okay. <laughs> that was Four uh... smash in your face. Yeah. He, he, he's like, yeah, you're going to try to spot dodge again. Not not today. Yeah. And that was a good uh, like dash back, dash back. Mm -hmm. like, obviously a call out, but I, I like the movement along with it. Yeah. So I'm liking this from Locus. He's dealing with a lot of preemptive options pretty well. He, he's noticed that like, he's still going there. I like him going for down tilt there so he can get the a better positioning. Especially if someone tries to DI in. You can still be in a situation oh. where you potentially get the right one. And yeah, he's going to hit that stock, man. Really good stuff. Yeah, I caught him off the double jump there. Ledge drop double jump options are really good, um, but they also do expend that double jump. Yeah. Whoa. Yep. How does Cloud. Z axis. <laughs> yeah. Still a thing. Yeah. Okay, but he's got the go meter, the limit expelled here. Ooh, if that down tilt connected, that was his life. Oh yeah, that was 100% his life. <laughs> right now Loke is doing, ooh, another crack shoot there. Yep. And anti-air, beautiful. You have to respect that move, man. Like, you don't get to fly up there and do dares for free once he gets that go. Especially oh. that too. Respect, you don't get dash for free, man. You have to respect it. Yeah, and I... Especially in like any stage with like platforms by the ledge as well. If Terry's cornered, like you can't. It, it's because most people want to create their pressure through the air, but you have to be very careful how you do that yep, because absolutely. of the power geyser. And even just chilling on that platform by the corner is dangerous. You know yep. what I mean? And a lot of people love to like kind of like reset their all their resources, like their double jump on the platform, and then you have mix-ups like, oh, I just landed on the platform, am I going to like fall through in an aerial and stuff like that? Terry mm -hmm. does not care about all that junk. Like, yeah, not power guys. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. Just easy power guys there. And it seemed like, I mean, even for there too, it just seemed that, uh, doesn't seem King Chris is as uh, used to this matchup in particular, because A, we haven't really seen him uh, go and SDI any of the jabs. Yeah, and like that, like I said, that's gonna be a really major thing in the matchup, um, and like power guys or stuff too. Even like we didn't see any masking of the uh, him going for Busta Wolf. He just straight up did the input. Like you could see him crouching, double cr like double crouched, and then did it because he was just doing the general input rather than like someone dashing or trying to do it out of shield. You know, trying to cover it, uh, you know, buffer it behind something. Right, Those are the kind right. of things that people will do to kind of mass the input to make it harder to discern what's coming out. But he just straight up just did it to him. So it just seemed like uh, King Chris just got caught, uh, caught unprepared. Yep, and now we see King Chris going on to his main here for this game, number three. Um, Zero Suit definitely, uh, I mean, he's going to be a lot more comfortable on it. And I think Zero Suit is just going to be good in general because Zero Suit can play that keep away game. He can keep away from Terry. Terry's just, you don't you usually don't want to be next to Terry in general. So. Yeah, for sure. The first see, option. The opportunity here. Go high. Yeah, you cannot punish it that way. Ooh. <gasps> that he almost just killed. started charging the DI there. Wasn't a good enough SCI though, so he's still gonna get hit by the light uh, power dunk. And that's gonna be a major one you're gonna see from a lot of people. Good stuff right there, King Chris though. Close it out with yeah. that bear. Yeah, I was, I was wondering if he was gonna crack shoot or not, but uh, really good stuff from King Chris. Just kind of waiting out the, the side B there and mm -hmm. just getting getting that back here, sinking it in. Oh, no, yeah. power dunk? Would that not have killed? Uh, power dunk would have killed. Uh, rising tackle probably would have been the wave though, uh, personally, but did not go for it. Okay, and again, I mean, ZSS has this range, but that burst option that Terry has available to him, the dash attack will close up the stock. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. He got he almost, everything he wanted, but gonna yeah. work on that. Yeah, if he hit the Nair on the no tech, that could have been the stock. The Nair mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially on a character like Terry. Yeah. Just damage. Up oh, there we go. No, not gonna get him on the platform. Good back throw. Yep. Oh, air dodges. Wow. Not get yeah. caught by the uh, down smash. Chris uh, opted yeah, yeah. to let it go a little early. Thought he, I get probably thought he was gonna get across the. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the berry though. You should be able to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Like I know this is nerfed, so like yeah. I know you can mash out before I can get there. So. Yep. The layers, bro. The layers. Yeah, I, I like that. I respect that. Go ahead, King Chris. <laughs> Master of an online warrior of any every sense of the word. I respect it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, he's definitely got a lot of online tricks, I heard. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I mean, if you think about it, if you're already on the platform, a very nice conversion there. Yeah. Uh, if you're already on the platform, you kind of just, like, no matter if they delay their mash or do the instant mash, if you react, they're just done, right? Like, yeah. Unless Locus, like, comes up with, like, an invincible option or something, like, mashes out and then goes right into an invincible option. Yeah. Okay, there's the forward airs. And, I mean, that's going to be ZS's main first option. She wants a, a rising hitbox. Oh, that absolutely. Forward air. Ooh, waits for the air dodge, Good tries bait. to get the double jump. Yeah, and so he's dealing really well with a lot of these angles that Terry's going to be looking at to get it. Oh, but here we go. Yeah, going to get himself a Nair. F-Tilt into a crack shoot. That's going to be a decent amount of damage. And now he's going to try to pin him here at the ledge. This is going to be scary. Beautiful corner yep. pressure from Locus. You see him moving in and out underneath the platform there, using it as like pretty much some type of ceiling here. And yeah. really just covering all the bases. True. And I love that he's been using, like, basically every time Ooh. he's been doing a half second, uh kind of wait once he grabs onto the ledge and instantly going for like some kind of aerial to cover that flip kick the standard option you'll see for serious suits right off of his ledge i love the high power dunk recovery we saw earlier too. oh he for that, sure yeah it's so good and i mean yep. oh what the he, 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 yeah not fair. <laughs> King Chris is not paying attention to it at all he's <laughs> he's buffering the inputs like hella hard <laughs> for sure You're trying and to space me out with zare like i don't nope. care you you have to pay attention to him once he has